This video covers D3 SVG transition animations. The structure of this video is as follows. D3 and SVG basic shapes revisited. D3 transition animations. Delaying and modifying durations of animations. The summary. All right, let's get started. D3 and SVG basic shapes revisited. The basic shapes that SVG provides are the rectangle, the circle, the ellipse, the straight line, and the polyline, polygon, and path. For this video, we will ignore the polyline, polygon, and path for now. The SVG rectangle takes in four main inputs. The X and Y, which is where the rectangle is drawn from, and the height and width. Remember, the SVG coordinate space starts at the top left and goes to the bottom right as X and Y coordinates increase. So as the height increases, the rectangle will get longer down. And as the width increases, the rectangle will get longer to the right. With D3, we can append an SVG container and then append the SVG rectangle basic shape. Then we can define the attributes of the rectangle to have it appear on the screen. As we will see shortly, transitions can be applied to each of these attributes. One other aspect of the rectangle that can be transitioned is the color fill. The SVG circle takes in three main inputs. The CX and CY, which is where the center of the circle is drawn from, and the R, which is the radius of the circle. With D3, we can append an SVG container and then append the SVG circle basic shape. Then we can define the attributes of the circle to have it appear on the screen. As we will see shortly, each of these attributes can be transitioned as it is a number. One other aspect of the circle that can be transitioned is the color fill. The SVG ellipse takes in four main inputs. The CX and CY, which is where the center of the ellipse is drawn from, and the X radius of the ellipse and the Y radius of the ellipse. With D3, we can append an SVG container and then append the SVG ellipse basic shape. Then we can define the attributes of the ellipse to have it appear on the screen. As we will see shortly, each of these attributes can be transitioned as it is a number. One other aspect of the ellipse that can be transitioned is the color fill. The SVG straight line takes in six main inputs. The X1 and Y1, which is where the line starts, the X2 and Y2, which is where the line ends, and stroke and stroke width, which is the color of the line, and the stroke width. The stroke and stroke width are necessary because an SVG line is dimensionless. So by applying a stroke width greater than zero, we can see the line. With D3, we can append an SVG container and then append the SVG straight line basic shape. Then we can define the attributes of the straight line to have it appear on the screen. As we will see shortly, each of these attributes can be transitioned as it is a number. Let's now take a look at a few SVG basic shape D3 transition animations. D3 transition animations. For each SVG basic shape, we will go through an example of animating two of the inputs of each shape. When thinking about animations, it is helpful to think of the three types of things you can change for each shape. You can change its shape. Is it larger, smaller, wider, narrower? skewed in one direction or the other. You can change where it's drawn. Is it near the origin or somewhere else in the X, Y coordinate space? And you can change its appearance. What color is it and what opacity it has? You can mix and match as you see fit to make some really interesting animations. For the examples, we will stick with mainly shape and location position. The SVG straight line will work with appearance transition animations. For this example, we will have the SVG rectangle increase its height from 100 to 300. This will elongate the rectangle along the y-axis. Because we do not specify delay or duration, the animation will start immediately and take 250 milliseconds. For this example, we will have the SVG rectangle move its starting X drawing point from 25 to 5. For this example, we will have the SVG circle move its CY point from 25 to 250. This will move the circle from near the top of the window to the bottom of the window. For this example, we will have the SVG circle increase its radius from 15 to 45 units. 
part of the circle falls outside of the SVG viewport so it will appear to be cut off. Again, because we do not specify a delay or duration, the animation will start immediately and take 250 milliseconds. For this example, we will have the SVG ellipse increase its RY radius from 25 to 55. This will elongate the ellipse along the Y axis. For this example, we will have the SVG ellipse increase its CX point from 65 to 205. This will move the ellipse down our screen along the Y axis. We've already covered more than a few examples where we change the X and Y coordinates, so this time we'll change the stroke width. For this example, we will have the stroke width increase from 5 to 20. This will give our line more weight and make it wider. We've already covered more than a few examples where we change the X and Y coordinates, so this time we'll change the stroke color. For this example, we will have the stroke color go from gray to red. This will change the color of the line from gray to red. All right, let's go to the JavaScript console to see the transitions in action. We start with a blank HTML document that has the D3 library hooked up from the d3js.org website. For each example, we will reset the browser to get a clean slate. Rectangle animation example 1. Notice that the rectangle transition animation increased the height of the rectangle shape. Rectangle animation example 2. Notice that the rectangle transition animation moved the rectangle location position to the left. Circle animation example 1. Notice that the circle transition animation moved the circle location position down. Circle animation example 2. Notice that the circle transition animation increased the size of the circle shape. Also notice that the circle appears to be cut off because parts of it are outside of the SVG viewport. Ellipse animation example 1. Notice that the ellipse transition animation increased the length of the ellipse shape along the Y axis. Ellipse animation example 2. Notice that the ellipse transition animation moved the ellipse position location down along the Y axis. Straight line animation example 1. Notice that the straight line transition animation widened the line width appearance. Straight line animation example 2. Notice that the straight line transition animation changed the line color appearance from gray to red. Next, let's take a look at how we can apply delays and modified durations to transitions of SVG elements. Delaying and modifying durations of animations. For this section, we will only use the SVG rectangle basic shape and leave as an exercise to the viewer how it works with the other SVG basic shapes. The examples in the previous section showed how once you understand the basic methodology, it works the same way with all of the SVG basic shapes and elements. In this section, we will use two rectangles that are colored red and green. Recall that you can specify how long to delay the transition before it starts. Recall that you can also specify how long the duration of the transition should last once it starts. This is an example of the delay functionality. Here we will select all the rectangles on the page. Since there are two, this section has both the red and green rectangles. Then a transition is applied to each rectangle. A delay to the start of the transition is defined. If the rectangle selection index is zero, then a location position transition animation will occur after two seconds. If the rectangle selection index is something else, then a location position transition animation will occur after four seconds. This is an example of the duration functionality. Here we will select all the rectangles on the page. Since there are two, this selection has both the red and green rectangles. Then a transition is applied to each rectangle. A duration of the transition is defined for each element in the selection. If the rectangle selection element index is zero, then a location position transition animation will occur for a period of five seconds. 
if the rectangle selection element index is something else, then a location position transition animation will occur for a period of two seconds. This is an example of combining the duration and delaying functionality being applied to a location position transition. A delay and a modified duration transition are applied to each rectangle element. If the index is zero, the rectangle will wait one second before moving and take five seconds to complete the transition animation. If the index is not zero, the rectangle will wait five seconds before moving and then take one second to complete the transition animation. By combining the delay and transition, you can create some pretty inspiring effects. All right, let's go to the JavaScript console to see the transitions in action. We start with a blank HTML document that has the D3 library hooked up from the d3js.org website. Let's create the two rectangles. You can now see the two rectangles in the web page. Next, let's try the delay example. In this example, you saw the red rectangle transition its location position down after two seconds. Then, the green rectangle transitioned its location position down after four seconds. Next, let's try the duration example. In this example, both rectangles start moving at the same time, though the red one takes five seconds to complete the transition while the green one takes only two seconds. This gives the animation an illusion of the green one sliding past the red one until the red one catches up. Finally, let's try the delay and duration example. In this example, the total time for the transition of both rectangles is the same, 6 seconds. However, the red rectangle waits 1 second before it starts the movement and then takes 5 seconds to complete the movement. The green rectangle on the other hand waits 5 seconds before it starts the movement and then takes 1 second to complete the movement. Through putting together delays and durations on various elements, you can develop sophisticated animations. And with that, we have covered how D3 transitions work with SVG elements, as well as some basic examples of doing animation transitions of shape, location, position, and appearance. The summary. This video covered D3 and SVG basic shapes revisited, D3 transition animations, delaying and modifying durations of animations, and the summary.